is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunsey, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, uh, never heard no horse. <laughs> horses sing none of it. My name is Ralph Litwin and tonight we have on a skunk, a chicken, and two gorillas who play none of it and sing none of it. And their name is Xylophokes. And am I allowed to reveal the secret identity? I think you are. Jonathan Singer is the leader. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having You want to interest, introduce us to the rest of the critters? We have Michael Winograd on baboon percussion. <laughs> Bridget Carney, Pink Gorilla on bass. This is Jared Engel, the chicken on banjo. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you want to give us another number? Sure. Uh, that last one we played was called The Whistler by George Hamilton Green. And this next one is an original of our baboon. percussing baboon, Michael right. Winograd, called The Moon, My Gun, My Baby. Uh. Uh.
would you care to share with us how, how did this crazy obsession with this wild music and the costumes evolve? How did it, how did it evolve? Um, I'm a percussionist from a young age, and uh, so I played xylophone when I began and played this novelty ragtime music that comes from the 20s, um, the golden age of the xylophone. Uh, the tunes that we're playing are mostly by George Hamilton Green. And um, the novelty aspect of it called for uh, a little extra something, I think. And so I thought, uh, just a little. Just a little. <laughs> Not over the top, just a subtle something. <laughs> so I thought, what could we do? Maybe we could wear suits or ties, bow ties. And I, I don't know how to tie a tie, so that wouldn't work for me. I'd have to learn how to do that. Um, and I thought, uh, what would be better than being a, a band of animals? And so that's, I, I, I got on the eBay and I looked up, you know, animal mascots. We got a bunch of these shipped over from China and we started. That's how it came to be, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you're, uh, you do a lot of music from this one composer. George Hamilton Green. Yeah. Uh, he wrote, I just found out I, I've been in communication with his uh, nephew, Lou Green who lives in Connecticut, who said he had something like 3,000 recordings wow. you know, songs. And he had a short career, actually. Uh, he stopped playing pretty early on. Uh, he had a group, George Hamilton Green and Joe Green, uh, the Novelty Ragtime Orchestra, and, um, and Joe Green kind of suddenly passed away, and then I believe George just packed it up one day in a recording studio. So that was it. But he generated all these tunes that today percussionists, xylophonists study, and um, uh, I did a middle school, I played these things. And nobody really plays them out, you know, you don't find them on the bandstand. Like somebody, hey, can you play The Whistler by George Hamilton Green? But they're good <laughs> tunes, and, it, and, it's great, great. and it's great for the xylophone, because we get like a million notes. and get to, yeah. Give us another. Give it another? Yeah. Uh, how about uh, Charleston Capers? This one's a Charleston. When we play out, we ask people to dance the Charleston. Surprisingly, nobody really knows it these days. Does anyone in the room know the Charleston? Charleston hey, we got someone who knows it. Okay, okay. Here's a Charleston. All right. <laughs> but, uh, uh, uh.
<laughs> that is great stuff. Thank you. We should t tell folks how they can find out more information about you and your, your, your website, your email address. The best way uh, right now is our website is myspace.com slash xylophogues. And that's uh, X-Y-L-O-P-H-O-L-K-S. Folks, the xylophone combination there. Our email is the same word, xylophogues at gmail.com. And uh, we'll be soon releasing an album called uh, I'm having a good time. We hope you're having a good time too. All right. And you play, I know from your MySpace page that you play on the streets sometimes. Primarily these days, we've been playing on the streets in New York. Uh, we're trying to raise the spirits of folks on their commute. And uh, we, get, um, we get some interesting responses. <laughs> <laughs> People hear the music. And they, uh, some people love it. <laughs> most generally positive, I would say. For the most part. Probably 95%. I have had very little negative comments. What's the five percent? The five percent is very special. <laughs> Rare exceptions. We've been playing on the street. We've been also we're in the midst of our five borough bodega tour, where we're playing <laughs> in, in delis and bodegas around. The other day we hit up Staten Island and. We were, it was quite a, a, a thing. We were on the ferry, or setting up on, on the way from Manhattan to Staten Island, and we were sure that security would shut us down. And the woman says, do you have a tripod? Because we were documenting it. So no tripod. Do you have a permit? No permit. Surprisingly, she's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so we played, and on the way back, we had the same. One of the people working on the, on the boat brought us a cup full of chocolate chip cookies. And I think they warmed them up. I think they All right. Chocolate chip cookies. Very sweet. Cool. Staten Island! Yes, Staten Island! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you're based in Brooklyn, are you? Brooklyn. We're all, uh, we're all residents of Brooklyn. My daughter lives in Brooklyn. It's a good place to be. Nice place to be. Definitely. Okay, yeah. give, us, give us another tune. This one's Log Cabin Blues by George Hamilton Green. One, two, ah. <laughs> Thank you. 
you uh, you have a shifting cast of characters in your in Xyla folks. The, the the guys you see here and gal. This is a big mystery we should clear up. <laughs> a lot of people think, oh, it must be a group of guys, but there's a gal. The pink gorilla is a gal, Bridget Carney. Great um, bass player. because <laughs> I'm wearing pink. We can tell because she's wearing pink. And she carries a purse around sometimes. Um, and um, this, is, this is pretty much the group. We also have a dog on piano, uh, Carmen Stoff, who's a great pianist. But we tend to keep that for gigs that have uh, pianos in the venue. So. Uh, um, it's a shame she's a wonderful pianist, and uh, so we'll be on this. It's a shame she's a wonderful pianist. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame there's not a piano, you know, at every subway stop that we can play. Um, Sometimes in Union Square, there's, one. there's a guy, there's a crazy piano man who carts around a uh, an upright piano, but we we just, <laughs> we have to bring our costumes; it'd be too much. A uh, species. <laughs> so common stuff, and then the occasional guest, you know, singing a song. We like to do. Uh, yes, we have no bananas and some tunes when we have a vocalist. Uh, but uh, this is pretty much the, the cast of the Xylophokes. Cool. Yeah. Well, you sound great. Thank you very much. How about some more music? Some more? Should we, uh, should we do here? Triplet? The rap. The rap. We have a, we, we've been trying, we've been, we haven't released this yet. This will be a premiere. We have a rap, our wonderful percussionist, Michael Winograd, and composer. Uh, has composed a rap about needing, what's the subject matter? Um, the uh, ailments that often accompany colds. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's try it out. Does it have a name yet? A world premiere. A premiere. Yeah, it's, uh, it's called Tissue. Tissue. Okay. And see? Uh, yeah. the time. Do you like to run? Progress, a work in progress. We thought right. we'd reveal that to our audience today. <laughs> <laughs> Tissue. My the yeah. folks is not stuck in the 20s. <laughs> Moving progress. A new ragtime. <laughs> <laughs> Progressive. That's a second album. <laughs> <laughs> we have some tunes. We're, yeah, we're working on them. The first, I'm Having a Good Time, will feature mostly novelty ragtime of the 20s. And then we'll push it with some of Winograd's hip hop classics. Cool. You got one more tune before we. What, before. Uh, the finale or? Before the finale. Okay, okay, we can do triplets. How about triplets? Another George Hamilton Green. <laughs> mm. Oh, wait a minute. My timing, my timing is off. We're, we're ready for the finale. We're ready for the finale. Fast forwarding, this will be Jovial Jasper, uh, written for Jasper, who was presumably Jovial. 
So let's thank Zyla folks for being on the show. Thank, thank you, you for having us. Having Our pleasure. Thank you, Randolph. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> let's, let's plug the website one more time. It's myspace.com slash Zyla folks. Zyla folks. X-Y-L-O-P-H-O-L-K-S. -O -O yes. Great. This one's Jovial Jasper. Thank <laughs> you.